okay now let's calculate question number two question number two says calculate um, the temperature of the de delivering a right so the temperature of uh, the delivering is a, temperature of the delivering a which is temperature number two so they say the temperature number one is equals to our initial temperature was 22 degrees Celsius then now we have to calculate the temperature number uh, number two so then we're going to use uh, the formula uh, said t2 let's move it from here okay yeah the space okay so we're going to use the formula said a t2 of a t1 is equal to pressure 2 over pressure number one to the power n minus one divided by n so now our temperature 2 will be equal to then we uh, convert the 22 degrees celsius which is t1 to uh, kelvin so we add by 2 73 which will give us a uh, temperature number 2 uh, would give us temperature number one in uh, kelvins not uh, we don't use degrees celsius then we use kelvins uh, so it's going to be 295 so and therefore we're going to multiply by 295 yeah, it will power uh, temperature uh, pressure number two is 820 divided by 1110 which is pressure number one to the power uh, 1.35 uh, now we have 1.35 minus 1 divided by 1.35 and then it's 496.5 Kelvins. So this one is our delivering temperature. Our delivering temperature will be equal to 496.598. Right. Then our last question. They say the calculator um, the power are required to, to drive the compressor. Uh, will be equal to um, pressure one multiplied by uh, volume delivered uh, multiplied by n over n minus 1 our index uh, to the power pressure number 2 over pressure 1 then to the power 1 minus n, 1 over n minus 1 okay so then uh, this is the formula to calculate our power right so uh, the here we're going to use uh, the our temp temperature okay our pre pressure 1 right which is 110 right multiply by so here we're going to use uh, the volume delivered right not the swept volume not the effective volume but you're going to use the uh, uh, volume delivered which is 18.5 but they say the air is delivered at a, um, at, uh, the volume delivered is 18.5 cubic meters per second uh, per minute right but we want it in second that's why here we're going to di divide by 60 to convert that a minute to a se second because uh, here they say that the 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 volume uh, the volume delivered here yeah, the volume delivered is 18.5 uh, cubic meters per minute right so we don't want this minute when you're calculating the power we want it in per hour right and then um then our index which is uh, 1.35 divided by 1.35 minus 1 uh, to the power okay multiplied by pressure number 2 is 820 divided by uh, 1110 to the power uh, 1 divided by 1.3 5 minus 1 right so then you find your power